Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to bring your CC4 Character Creator 4 3D Avatar into Unreal Engine 5.6 and make your 3D Avatar, your CC4 Avatar to become the main Avatar in your Unreal Engine 5.6 game project. And start from now, I'm going to show you all the step by step how to make this. And let's go! Alright, first you'll be in CC4 and as demo, I'm going to just use CC4 Camilla to just send it to Unreal Engine. The first step, what you need to do is just click File, Export, FBX, Cloth Corrector. Then, expand the setting. Here, the target tool presets, you need to choose Blender. The FBX option, you just choose the Mesh and take Insta LOD, merge the material, select all. Then, you will see merge opacity to diffuse texture. You have to take, to take this. Then, once everything ready, set up, just click export, click OK. And as demo, I'm going to just export it on my desktop. The file name, I'm going to just name this as model01 and click save. Now it is going to export as FBX and just wait for a while until everything appear at here. Done. You can see the FBX file is already exported here. Then next, just open the Unreal Engine and as demo, I'm going to just start from beginning. Everything start from a fresh new game project. I'm launching the Unreal Engine 5.6.1 and this is the latest version now for today. Just wait for a while. Now, as demo, I'm going to just create a fresh new game project. I'm going to use the third person game project. And now, the project name is my project 3. I click create it is going to create a fresh new game project from beginning just wait for a while here all right now you can see a fresh new game project is already launched i'm going to just click the window content browser to call out the content browser one it is at somewhere here content browser at here. I already call it out then. Next we are going to to install the freedom animation pipeline. So you can get this from my video description once you already get it. Once you already click the link just go to the link scroll down you can just get the freedom animation pipeline. This is one of the plugin that's developed by me in order to import the CC4 avatar and retarget it in just one second. So now I already have the freedom animation pipeline. I'm going to just install this. Copy into the content means you have to just right click the document, open in a new window, then go into the Unreal project and for this project, the, the project name is my project tree under the content folder here. Then back to your freedom animation pipeline to install this plugin, just double click it, then copy the freedom animation pipeline into the content folder. So here I just press Ctrl C to copy and click here, Ctrl V to paste it. Now, once ready done, I click all I just close off the folder and back to the Unreal Engine 5, 5.6. You can see the Freedom Animation Pipeline folder is already here, means you already successfully installed. Next, we are going to import the Model 01. And I'm going to just create a new folder here, right click, create a new folder, name this as Model 01. Double click it. Then, I just drag and drop the Model 01 FBX. It is going to import the FBX 
into here, the 3D model, the CC4 3D avatar. Just now, here, I click import to just import everything. Now, done. Once done already, then, at here, what we need to do is just go to the Freedom Animation Pipeline. Then scroll down. Under the Freedom Animation Pipeline, you should be able to see a CC4 bake. We need this. Just double click it until you can see an IK rig. The CC4 bake IK rig. Just right click to duplicate it. Then name this as Model01. First, this is the name. The name of your 3D avatar then underscore IK rig. Alright, once done this step, just just drag down until you can see your model 01 folder here. Just drag and drop to move it to your folder. Move here. Then back to your model 01 folder. At here until you can see the IK rig, just double click it. Alright. So next. The previous skeleton just change to your model 01. Always rem remember the name of your 3D avatar. Click done. Once done already, just click save. And now actually, you can see the texture is not set properly yet. Just close first. Then go to the model 01. This is the skeleton mesh. Double click it. We are going to set up the material texture here properly. Just double click this, this is the material, the only one material and scroll down, this one you drag to here until you can see the opacity mask, the op opacity mask, we are going to unlink this first, just hold the control, then just take it, take it out, then release, click, then until that you can see this one, then drag the alpha directly to the opacity mask so i drag the alpha channel directly to the opacity mask it is going to set up all of the material automatically then just click save then back to the model 01 you can see all of the material texture already set properly in just one click then this one just save this close the next step, we are going to retarget the animations. So you scroll down at here until you can see, you can back to the content and go to the Freedom Animation Pipeline folder. And next, just go to the UE5, sorry, UE4 A Post Mannequin. We need this. Double click it and go into the animations. Animation blueprint, sorry, not this. Back to the Freedom Animation Pipeline. Scroll down. Go to the UE4 A Post Mannequin character. Go to the mesh at here. At here, you need to go and search for UE4 A Post to CC4 Big IK Retargeter. We need this. We just need to right click and duplicate it. Once duplicated here, rename it completely and just name this as UE4A post underscore to then uh, underscore. Here you have to type the name of your 3D avatar model 01, then underscore IK retar IK retargeter done once done already you have to move this file into the model 01 folder just drag and drop into model 01 folder just click move here so that is the retargeter that you need so go to the model 01 and find your IK retargeter just double click it then here apply the offset you just choose no and no again here then here you have to change the target the default target IK rig you have to choose your own IK rig that is the model 01 IK rig that you set up just now just choose no now you can see it already become your 3d avatar now so the next 
you have to, to look at this you scroll down until you can see the t post click the t post and scroll up to the top hold the shift button and click the first one so that means you already selected all of this then what about at the bottom the third person all these third persons beginning with the third person prefix you don't select it we just want all of this then click export selected animation at here just choose your model Duran folder and right click to create a new folder name this folder as animation and press enter then click export then click export it is going to export all of the animations it is going to retarget all of the animation for all of these animations you can see you have the catwalk you have the some of the sample animation for example sample dance you have the MMA kick all of this already retargeted properly and you can use it anytime done the next step what you need to do is just save this and close next we are going to retarget the animation blueprint because we want to to make this model zero one to become the main avatar or npc in your game project what you need to do is just back to the content folder go into the freedom animation pipeline go into ue4 a post mannequin under the animation folder just click in go to the animation blueprint then until you can see the third person animation blueprint right click this click retarget the animations then the target skeleton mesh you have to just choose your own model 01 then auto generate the retargeter you have to untick it if you don't want that automatic generate the retarget assets you have to choose your own retargeter ue 4 a post to model 01 i can retarget her then scroll down until you can see the third person animation blueprint just click it then click export the animations then choose the model 01 folder right click to create a new folder name this folder folder as animation blueprint animation underscore blueprint all right just export it at this folder just click export export now we can see it automatic go to the animation blueprint folder the first what you need to do is just rename this the third person animation blueprint click and just press f2 to rename it rename it by adding an underscore at behind and name this put the the name of your 3d model model 01 press enter next step we are going to set this set this 3d avatar to become the main avatar the game avatar the player game avatar of this game project go to the content now by default you can see if you try to play this game the main avatar of this game is the mannequin a simple mannequin we are going to change this to become your model 01 so what you need to do is just go to the third person blueprint you can see a bp third person character just right click this and just click duplicate and then you can see it just add a number one at here you just need to delete it and press and underscore put your avatar's name model 01 then double click it go to the mesh go to the viewport and at here the skeleton mesh assets just change it to become your model 01 then next the animation class you have to choose your third person animation blueprint model 01 if you already follow all the step-by-step -step tutorial previously you should be able to get this 
then just click compile click save and close next we are going to finalize it to make sure this model 01 the third person character blueprint to become the main avatar the player game avatar in this game so you have to double click it into bp third person game mode at here then the default pawn class you have to change it to become the bp third person character model 01 then click compile click save and close now you try to play your game has play you can see the player game avatar already become your model 01 it is really your cc4 avatar the, the 3d avatar that you make from the cc4 and you can see the leg the foot is still floating so this is easy just back to the repeated person character model then click the mesh click the viewport here what you need to do is just drag it down but drag it down it is snapped to about 10 so what you need to do is just change this make it become 1 then you can just drag it down a little bit then click compile click save and minimize it that's it again to see whether is that the legs the foot still floating now it is much better it's okay already it is just have a little bit of the floating you can still drag it down if you want so now the cc4 camilla the cc4 3d avatar already become the player game avatar what about npc of course you can just make this as an npc just right click this and duplicate then model 01 and underscore just put an npc this npc you can program it by using the blueprint here to make make it as an interactive npc or you can just write any program by using the blueprint at here once you're done already just compile just click save and drag it to anywhere in the game then this one will become the npc you try to play again to see the NPC is there or it's not there. Alright now the NPC is, the NPC is at here. If you already program it with the blueprint, you can just interact with this NPC. But for for this time as demo, I never program her. So this is just an NPC that stand there without any function. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to how to transfer your CC4 3D avatar into the Unreal Engine 5.6 and transfer just by using the Freedom Animation Pipeline that you can get it from my official site. This is for retargeting and finally you can make your CC4 avatar to become the player game avatar or any of the NPC in your Unreal Engine 5.6 game project. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharings, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!